from transforming businesses to building a better tomorrow. Innovations in technology are changing the world as we know it. And Accenture is at the heart of this change. Hello and welcome to our brand new series, Celebrating Innovation. I'm your host, Shigufta Ahmed. Join me as we put a spotlight on the amazing innovations coming out of Accenture and the brilliant minds behind them. On our very first episode of Celebrating Innovation, and I am joined now by two very interesting people. Help me in welcoming Madan and Kiran. Hi, welcome to the show. Hello. So just quickly, a little introduction, a little bit about yourselves. Let's start with you, Kiran. Yeah, thank you again for having me over on the show. Um, I lead uh, growth and strategy for our platforms business, working out of the ATCs. Um, what else? Uh, as part of that, I actually devise what strategies we can adopt to make sure that we have a leadership position as Accenture in each one of our platform businesses. I've been here with Accenture for nine years now. Madhin, a little bit about yourself, please. Again, uh, thank you for the opportunity and it's great to be here. Um, I am a delivery lead in our growth markets business in ATCI. I also uh, contribute to supporting innovation in growth markets and the larger ATCI. But more importantly, I've been with Accenture closing in on 20 years. So I can truly call Accenture home because I've spent my entire career here from being an intern to my current position. So it's been a fabulous journey. 20 years, that's incredible. At Accenture, you mentioned entirely. That's correct. So that's correct. let's get into that a little bit more. What's the past 20 years been like for you here? I think the firm has given um, a tremendous variety of experiences to learn from and imbibe. The topic of today's discussion is innovation and I think that breadth of opportunities the company has given me is, is, is truly important and kind of the centerpiece. I've also had the great opportunity of working in uh, three different countries uh, over this uh, period and have also had the opportunity to work in our operations business, products uh, and platforms from uh, being in Accenture CIO, as well as working early on in my career with our uh, strategy and consulting colleagues. So this breadth of experience is something that I truly cherish and value. Tell me a little bit about how Madan mentioned this atmosphere of really having an innovative spirit. Accenture is the place where there's an ecosystem ready for anyone who's really into you know, creating something, thinking of something and then creating it and making it happen. A couple of things that I can talk about is, how can you tap into a network of experts? Um, I mean, if you can get an idea, but it will never get realized unless you actually bring a whole lot of people who are like-minded and are experts in their own fields. Um, so that's something that I can say in the eight to nine years that I've been here. I could literally tap on anybody's shoulder and see I need a help on something and then just go about building what I'm trying to do. Uh, that's, I think, amazing. And the next thing is, of course, when you sit through and listen to so many ideas being generated by different people, it's a shot in the arm for you, okay? So I wouldn't say it's a peer pressure, uh, but it's a very, very virtuous cycle to be in. That's what I find amazing about Accenture. I just want to tap into a little bit about your journey when it comes to innovation. Where do you come up with these ideas, first of all, and how have you been able to nurture, you know, have them nurtured here at Accenture? This comes out of an urge to kind of come up with a solution to a contemporary uh, problem. A couple of years back, just before we stepped into the pandemic, wildfires, bushfires was um, a very topical problem that Australia faced. My client was based in Australia. And we came up with a solution to predict the spread of bushfires, as well as if people get hit by bushfires and if telecom infrastructure is actually destroyed, how can you give them an emergency telecommunication service to communicate with their loved ones as well as call for emergency help? We worked with the Accenture labs in San Francisco who were specialists in smart materials to be able to take it to the California Insurers Association. So this was basically an idea coming out of a uh, a very contemporary problem that the society, telecommunications industry faced. It was built for resilience in telecommunication services, uh, became a smart materials idea, and was deployed in, um, you know, 
an insurance business. So this I found truly amazing across that uh, particular life cycle. Incredible. You're not only helping your clients, but you're also helping society at large. Kiran, what would you say uh, differentiates Accenture when it comes to, you know, having that idea, bringing it to light and making it an innovation that could really impact the greater world? Yeah, uh, that's a very good question because today um, every enterprise is innovating continuously. And uh, the, the, uh, the difference between an organization that can do innovation sporadically in parts or when there is a necessity versus somebody who makes innovation their DNA right. is a large gap. Okay. And uh, the fact that we have an innovation management system, which is at scale and is done at an unprecedented level, uh, is what is actually the differentiation. You don't say uh, we have an innovation project to work on. Innovating in everything you do is a cultural differentiation. Now that sort of a culture to build takes years of hard work. And we've been at it for now over a decade. We are already recognized by independent bodies in the industry as uh, what differentiates us from most of other organizations of the similar nature is our ability to innovate en masse. And that's uh, because of the fact that we have a management system of innovation that's uh, fundamental to how we do innovation, yeah. Absolutely. Kiran, maybe you could help us, you know, dwell deeper into a, a few of the specific programs we have at Accenture yeah. that really help, you know, cultivate this atmosphere of innovation. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a very big uh, discussion, frankly. Um, so first of all, they say it, it takes a village to raise a child. So similarly, um, an idea cannot thrive without favorable conditions. So I would uh, summarize what we have in Accenture as a virtuous circle of innovation. So it truly is a circle, frankly. It's got the culture on one side and the value extraction on the other side. And how do you make this uh, continuous journey happen within the firm is the system of innovation that we have. It all starts with building a culture. So it's the creation of all of the ideas as one part. Then it's the co-creation of uh, uh, you know, client co-innovation and other things that we do. And last but not the least, it's cross-pollination. The ideas uh, sporadically here and there are one thing, but building a complete culture of in, uh, innovation within an organization requires that you have actually helped and enabled people to figure out how to ideate, okay? And uh, how do they come together to collaborate to be able to actually take the idea further? And that requires a whole lot of catalysts. It requires people specialized in understanding what the innovation process is. So we have a whole lot of trainings built around that um, to actually take experts and convert them into innovators. Second, the client co-innovation. Now this is suddenly a whole new league of innovation. Now you are actually looking at clients real time, real world business challenges, and then you're ideating for a purpose. Uh, in the original stage, you actually simply harness the raw power of uh, one's ability to innovate. The other one is a very directed activity where there are business challenges that are stated and you're now innovating uh, to actually solve them. That's the second bit. Now, having solved the second piece, you now know that this is a nascent power of the uh, innovation. Now you suddenly find multiple applications for it, either because you have taken a leapfrog into a whole new technology, or you have found multiple adapter adoptions for such an innovation. So this is the entire circle. And how we manage this very systematically with an Accenture is what is baffling, okay? Now we have the My Innovation platform, which really harnesses all of these ideas all through the cycle. And then you can embrace that uh, to such an extent that you have a value extracted at the end of it, okay? So the My Innovation platform is a very large uh, system which can uh, allow innovators, experts, mentors, mentees, all to collaborate from different parts of the geography. And uh, we don't do it just because there is a wave of uh, innovation contest or that a client has put in a challenge. It, it, the entire thing is called a living innovation system. So that particular thing basically says, you got an idea, never let it die. It's natural that. We will take it through the closure. So that's the brilliant part of it all. Lovely, this ecosystem sounds brilliant. Um, now, clearly there's a lot happening at work. What drives you beyond outside of work? So maybe we can just get into that. Madan, we'll start with you. Through my career in Accenture, I'm actually grateful that 
the firm provides immense flexibility to be able to kind of find new passions while you contribute uh, effectively at work. I have a great passion for football and 2014-15 I spent a couple of years as a football writer wow. midnights on for the Spanish La Liga writing for an online magazine. It was a it was it was kind of a great experience because I got to work with senior journalists which kind of imbibe the spirit of good and very concise storytelling. I also have a passion for teaching. I sp spent weekends over the last 15 years teaching at a private university in Bangalore. Okay. And this experience of facing a young and dynamic crowd every weekend is very rejuvenating. And as much as you teach them, you also learn from them. I think these have been a couple of passion areas where I've been happy to uh, engage with along with a full job at Accenture. Sounds like you're full, so full of surprises there, Madan. You've got so many things that you're involved in and interested in. That's great. What about you, Kiran? Um, you know, I'm uh, quite content with what I do <laughs> throughout the day with an Accenture in itself. Uh, because literally, um, most of my passions are somewhat cerebral in nature. Okay, So it suffices for me to really continuously read what's happening in the world of technology. Um, what are the, some of the very, very big challenges that the world is actually facing at any point in time? I've had the opportunity via Accenture to work with some of the industry bodies to really chart the course of some of those. Take examples like what's going to be responsible AI in the future? What, what will be an ethical space exploration in the future? These are areas that interest me a lot. And by virtue of my role, I get to meet and talk with so many different industry experts and, and uh, startups. So those are all the areas that I actually immerse myself in, mostly, even in the cabs. What I do is mostly reading. Uh, but yeah, that, that's uh, exciting enough. And I'm planning to work on a couple of books myself. So hopefully, we'll get to that. You just slid that right past, working on a couple of books. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully next, someday. <laughs> <laughs> looking forward yeah. to reading all of that. Yeah, that's right. But it's been so lovely to you know catch up with the both of you. But before I let you go, with your permission, of course, I have a few rapid fire questions that I would like to ask you. So first, we'll start with you, Kiran. Can you describe your work in Accenture in three words? Three words, if you want. Exciting, changing, and unique. OK, Madan, I need you to fill in the blank for me, OK? The most fulfilling part about working in Accenture is the learning experience. Kiran, three words that describe your time at Accenture. Change, change and change. All right, Madan, what about you? The three best things aspiring innovators can find only at Accenture. Learning, vast ecosystem and the impact. Advice for the next generation of techies. Advice for next generation of techies is fairly simple. They're already doing far too well. Um, technology is changing on their, under their feet. It brings immense potential. So never be satisfied. That's uh, good enough an advice. I think from my perspective, innovators have to be open to a broad range of experiences. Be curious and be open to learn all the time. I think these are critical facets in being able to uh, traverse this journey as an innovator. And with that advice, I'm going to say thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining me today. It was absolutely lovely. And you have officially helped us open up Celebrating Innovation. And for that, we're all thankful. Thank you so very much. It's been an incredible experience. Uh, you know, you do innovation on a daily basis. And uh, every once in a while, taking a step back and seeing how is it that it's differentiating um, you and the firm from anywhere else is a good, uh, you know, checkpoint at any point in time, yeah. Madan, you'd like to add to that? I think from, from my perspective, it is always great to have this opportunity to reflect back on your own journey and to be able to kind of synthesize it and be able to talk about it was, was really nice. Thank you once again. And that was just the beginning. This is the first episode of Celebrating Innovation. We've got a lot more coming up, so stay tuned.